If we take a metallic plate and connect it with the positive terminal of a battery, positive charge gets accumulate in the plate. Similarly, if we take another plate and connect it with the negative terminal, the plate will become negatively charged. Now, suppose if we bring these charged plates closer, these opposite charges gets attracted towards each other. Distributed charges on both the plates starts trying to get closer, which make scope for more charge to get accumulated in the plates. Results in flow of charging, current and electrostatic field gates set up between the plates because of separation of charges. As long as these plates remain close apart, charge remains on the plates because of the electric field. Even if we disconnect the battery, these plates have potential difference therefore have capacity to make charges to flow. If the plates comes into contact by means of an electrical conductor. Therefore, we can say that capacitors have capacity to store electrical energy in form of electric field. You can see that the current is flowing from plate which is at higher potential that is positive to the plates which is at lower potential that is negative. This flow of current continues until plates become charge free or achieve same potential. Hope this video clip gives you a little bit idea about how a capacitor works. Means how it become charged, store electrical energy and how it dissipate this stored energy through an electric load. When it is connected across a charge capacitor. We will discuss it in more details in our upcoming videos. Till then, thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe. To both the direction of field and current. If conductor is made free to move, it rotates in the magnetic field. Here, 